Yo, what's up to everyone watching this video? This is gonna be a very long explanation of the history I've had with multiple laptops. So sit back, relax, grab yourself something to eat or drink, and enjoy. To start off, let me just say, I think I have a serious addiction to technology, especially portable systems like laptops or handhelds. I've owned over 12 in the past few years, and every person around me has told me I have a problem. From Macs to gaming laptops, let's take a journey back to 2022 to see where my addiction started. The year was 2022, and it was the start of my second semester in college. At the time, I had three laptops, a broken M1 MacBook Air, which fell off my bed the first week of classes, a replacement M1 MacBook Pro, and a 2020 Asus Tough A15 that contained an RTX 2060 and a Ryzen 7 4800H. Basically, I was due for a laptop upgrade gaming-wise. After my classes, I began watching videos from Dave2D, Linus Tech Tips, and other YouTubers that reviewed tech products. After several hours of watching these videos, there was one constant laptop that was on my mind. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. So. Like any other broke college student, I bought the laptop from Best Buy for about $1,200. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I have an unboxing laptop. New one. I have like five. Hey, Jake. Hi. So, let's just, let's just get into this shit. Just kidding. I, I think I got something on my finger. Oh my god. Stop it, Lola. So as you can see, there is a pilgrim in my wall. This is the goods right here. This is the laptop. That's so cool. Okay, what other accessories do we have in the box before you touch it? You silly goose. Okay, now we've got a laptop that's mine and I bought it for $1,400. I really hope I sell my other laptop because I'm in debt. Anyway, if we just unwrap this shit. All right, we're gonna play this game. So, so let's open her up, shall we? Oh my God, what is this? Anyway. Claudia just snapped me, gotta go. Now this configuration came with a Ryzen 9 5900HS an RTX 3060 graphics card, and a 1440p 120 hertz display. I mean, what can I say? This laptop was absolutely perfect. It had great battery life, it played games great, plugged and unplugged. It had a beautiful color accurate screen that was great for Photoshop work. And it was very portable, which it was great for running around campus. So knowing all of this information, I was extremely satisfied with my purchase. However, not even a week after I bought it, several videos started to pour out on YouTube, all of them discussing the new Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 2022. I tried my best not to look, to just be happy with what I had just bought, but something in me was just curious. It had better performance, a 16 by 10 screen, better battery life, and an all white finish rather than the silver keyboard on the past model. I, I don't know what else to say, I was, I was completely sold. So again, like any other normal person who now has no money, I returned my G14 and bought the new 2022 model for an extra $500. I, I just drank like fountain water, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Um, what's up, I uh, have a package. Oh, God, how is that scratched up though? I don't like that. Um, people have been having problems with this laptop that it comes in broken, so I'm gonna see if that's true. Once the laptop came in, I was so excited. I was able to have it delivered right on campus, and as soon as I unboxed it, I was in love. It was everything I had dreamed of. Until it wasn't. It quickly became a horrific nightmare that I couldn't escape. You know how sometimes people warn you not to get brand new tech? Well. I understand why now. The amount of problems I encountered was absolutely outrageous. 
First off, almost every single game I played had some type of problem. Mortal Kombat 11 kept crashing, and even COD Warzone had graphics problems. However, when it wasn't bugging out, it was playing games great. My friends on campus didn't really like the laptop though. I, it just, it's my documentary. What the fuck are you doing? Do you have my consent? Wait, do I have your consent? It doesn't matter. Sure, I don't really fucking care. What are your impressions of the laptop? Fantastic, thank you. Should I return it? Yes. <laughs> After some blue screens and more crashes, I decided it would be best to return the laptop and get a new one. However, when I went to factory reset it, the laptop just completely broke and got stuck in a boot loop. By the time I got my next laptop, I was back at home for spring break. I decided to try a new type of laptop, the first ever 2-in-1 13-inch gaming laptop. Yeah, I was paying a premium for the gimmick, but again, it had me completely sold. This is where I believe my addiction truly escalated. I love this computer, and I actually had it for a solid amount of time. But a specific event occurred that made me realize I needed to sell it. The release of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The game, on lowest settings, with DLSS on performance, only ran at 70 FPS. This was not acceptable for my gaming standards. So I, uh, I sold it. And guess what laptop was next? Okay, now things were getting a bit ridiculous. It felt like I was just trying to get my hands on every single Asus product that I could. I found a nice deal on this laptop on Asus's official website, so I took it as soon as I could. I'm just gonna spoil it for you guys, this laptop was by far the worst I owned. Out of the box, it didn't even detect the dedicated GPU that it came with. I tried factory resetting, reinstalling drivers, and nothing worked. So I returned it. However, I still needed a gaming laptop. Okay, Best Buy was having a sale, so I bought it again, but this configuration was slightly different. It had a 1080p 144Hz display and a Ryzen 7 5800HS instead of a 5900 from before. This laptop was still great though, and I used it for schoolwork and gaming for a solid month. But then, I was on Best Buy's website one day and saw a great sale on a new gaming laptop. So, I returned the G14 again and bought the other one. <coughs> Yo, are... Did one of you guys put this in my room? It's, a, it's an alienware. So yeah, if you hadn't thought it this whole video, now you definitely will. There is something medically wrong with me. But man, was this a nice laptop. It played games with great performance, and I had it for a few months. But I don't know, it just, it, it just felt too premium to me. It, it just didn't feel right to keep it. So uh, I, I sold it on eBay and got a different laptop. Oof, it is so windy out. But I am on my way right now. I'm gonna have a friend come with me, and we're gonna, we're gonna go see, pick up this laptop and you know, maybe do a little unboxing on it. If you guys want to see a little bit of my car, it's nice and blue. If you're wondering how I pay for this thing too? I don't. <laughs> what? I, don't, I can't tell this jeans emoji or not, but hi everyone. <laughs> hi everyone. What happened? It fell off my bed the first week of school and shattered. Is that real? Yes. Chris, do you have any words? There was, there was no lights at that stop. They like, they were all There was, it was not green, red, or yellow. What did? What, what? It was. Uh, I sold it. <laughs> no. So we're gonna unbox it right now. Just for Chris. Just for my friend Chris. Oh, this feels budget like. I feel like I'm downgrading so much, but it's for, it's for- What, you're holding the box? It's for the cause. Dude, the laptop's right here. Let's see it. Yeah. 
You ready? Skrpong douche. Wait, Chris, I gotta do something really quick. I gotta go back into Best Buy and return it. Oh. Oh, it's got cameras. Dude, it's switch. missing a keyboard. Oh. <sighs> Chris. So, it's currently mid February, and I'm pretty satisfied with the Lenovo. It's by far the worst laptop I've used this entire time, but I don't know. It feels like it's the laptop meant for me. Although it has a worse GPU in the RTX 3050 Ti, a worse Ryzen 5 processor, and a just absolutely horse crap screen, it's my laptop, and I love it. Sometimes the premium product isn't always the best option for you. After this laptop, I think I've finally recovered from my addiction. But now it's just fueled another one. But I, I think I'm crazy because I thought to myself, and this was a real thought, why don't I replace my $1,900 laptop, this beautiful Alienware that I love so much, and why don't I replace it with with a computer that costs almost the same amount, but it has joysticks and it is the size of a Nintendo Switch Lite. And I'm going to replace my entire setup with that. So that is why I think I'm crazy. And also, I just purchased it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I think I'd like to make more videos like this in the future. The next video that's going to release is about my new addiction, gaming handhelds.